Hello guys, in first part of the Soulborn scripts, I've shown you where to download it from, how to install it, some of my favorite scripts, material remover, object attacher, object detacher, selection randomizer, transform randomizer. And in this part, I'm going to show you how to use object replacer and re few good examples on how to boost your work with it. Further on, I'll show you Object Replacer. This is the context menu. The idea is that it replaces one object with another. I'll show you how it works and where and when do I use it for. Let's say I have these trees. I'll copy them so I, I will show you that it works with a lot of objects. Imagine that this is a whole city and you want to have night or dusk render and you would like to lit all of these trees. You, you have them, you spread them, then you can make one V-ray light and place it here under the tree. Here below, let's say, I rotate it like, like this and here in the options, I'll make it to this light, choose to be selected, uh, choose the cone to be visible when selected. And let it direct it through the tree. I'll make the radius a bit smaller. Okay, let's say this is the light for my tree. But how can I how can I put this light on all of the 24 trees? Oh, imagine that they're even more than this like this you can do it really fast with the object replacer the normal op uh, option would be to do it like this and then to rotate the the lights but this takes a lot of time Pick the object that you want to replace with. This is the light, like this. You can see very light here. And then I will choose just to keep the position. Actually, I'll keep also the rotation, position and rotation. Uh, I'll keep the wire color and the layer. And then I'll select all of the trees by selecting first the light and then Control and E invert the selection. I have these 36 trees. I will untick the delete originals because I want to keep the trees as well. And then press apply like this. And I have all of the lights. Uh, they come in this way because I kept the rotation. If I press, if I delete this and untick the rotation, again select the trees or select similar, select instances like this. I'm selecting all of the trees, press apply, and I have all of the trees lit. If we would like to have variety, we can use the previous script, transform randomizer, here press, use this option, this one over here, meaning that all of the uh, lights, the pivot point is going to be in every single light. And we can rotate this a bit 
you can see when I zoom here that now we have a bit more variety in the light they're going to look more realistic and with three clicks you can lit the whole scene this is really useful also for street lights I've put one lamp over here I'm going to make it into um, proxy you can see a video in our YouTube channel how to make it into proxy I did it I did it really fast then you can create another light like this you can place it here adjust this cone like this And if I would like to spread this, this light with forest pack, let's say a, a long a spline like this, I'll make them into corners, then I will create a fillet as if this is the street like this. And then I can make forest and use this light as my object like this and then if I go to display mode and want to have them as boxes like this and in the distribution I'll place along a path I'll add the path this path over here and make and spread them like this 1000 I can rotate here under, under transform go to rotation enable I rotate this in 90 degrees this here will be, it's going to be zero 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 here is 90 again now I have these lamps along the line here spread and you can imagine that these are lamps in on the street I'll put them as meshes they're not so big like this now if I would like to add lights on all of these lamps I can do it with the script but firstly I can break this forest pack go here to the system menu oh sorry go here to the utilities if you don't have here a forest tool you can add them from configure but button set here find forest tools drag and drop it here okay then press forest tools and press here individual objects untick this you can so that they are not freeze and press this button okay and now we have this broken into single pieces like this we have 27 object then i can click the object replacer like this 
I'm going to choose select my light like this here I will keep the position wire cover and the layer and don't want to delete the object then here select instances press and press apply if you need to move these lights like this you can place it and voila with one click you lit oops the position is not the correct one okay then I'll adjust it you can delete this in order to adjust it I'll press select the lamp and then I'll move the pivot point of the light into the pivot point of this lamp here above because all of the pivots of these lights are here below I'll select it go here affect, affect pivot and then out and A is a line choose this one select all of the um, all of the axes the three axes press OK and then Un unclick this now this light has the same pivot point as this lamp and now if I press select instances how this like this and then replace uh, these lamps with this light press apply it's not working again then the last thing that I need to do is to press here the rotation so select instances I'll deselect this one this one is chosen apply and now it really works sometimes you need to uh, test a few times until you reach the desired result it happens now I have all of these lights and they are into instances spread with one click okay with three clicks all of them are instances and I have these these are my lights as well with few clicks you can lit your night scene lamps trees everything that you need if you have any suggestions or another way that you're doing it please leave let us know in the comments another case that I'm using the object replacer is when I have a scene with um, open umbrellas let's say it's daylight it's warm and I would like to make from the same camera same point of view a scene night scene meaning that it's evening and the umbrellas are closed so I've, I've prepared two umbrellas and I'll show you really fast how I'm going to use it let's say I have all of these um, umbrellas then I'll go to the object replacer I'm going to choose this one over here I would like to replace these four with this with the closed one I will keep the position the rotation I'll show you if we have if they're rotated differently that's going to be kept like this okay the scale I'll make this one bigger and I have the same material for both so you can keep it or just leave it like it is uh, I'll remove these sticks and 
I will keep the original. So I'll take off this stick here. And then I'm pressing apply. Oh, sorry. I need to select these four umbrellas. Press apply. And now I have these replaced. They are in instances and I can make all of this. I can put them in one layer, code, umbrellas, umbrellas, night, like this. And the rest, I can put them in another layer. Like this. And now when I have, I'm going to remove this one. Now I have two layers for the night view, where I have the closed one. And I can turn on the day, new, the day um, umbrellas. You can add these turn, uh, turning on and turning off in state set uh, when you prepare these scenes let's say from one scene you have night shot and day shot or dusk shot you can record all of these switches in uh, state sets you can check our video about it you can find the link uh, up in the upper corner or in the description and as you can see, the object replacer uh, script, it took the rotation and the scale, everything. So by one click, you can make from one uh, mood your scene into another. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.